So let's take a look at the body paragraphs. As we said, we have two types of approaches we can use. One paragraph centers on the first topic and the next paragraph on the second topic, splitting it in two, like we just went over, A and B. The second approach is the first half is topic one, and then the last half, the second half, is going to be topic two, as we just showed there. Split it right in the middle, A and B. Now when you get to the concluding paragraph, you need to, of course, give a summary. So you're going to sum up. But in this one, you're going to just focus very quickly on what are the most important differences or similarities. What is most important? What are the key ones? And you lay those out in the final paragraph. You need to make sure that both subjects get equal treatment in your final paragraph. And this can be a little bit hard because when you're writing it, you need to make sure you keep both of your topics included, right? So if we are writing about the weather, we may have a concluding ending paragraph that says something like, in conclusion or in summary, both of these places are beautiful places to live and people love them. Okay, so that's the similarity. Then we can begin another sentence. The biggest difference is the summer temperature. And we could list that out. Try your best to compare and contrast some details and try our exercise, our practice, to see if you can really get used to that. Remember the key point is balance. A little bit from both of your examples, both of your A and B. Some examples, keep it balanced. Good luck. For comparison and contrast, let's go ahead and look at a practice that we can do. And for this practice, we're on page 74 of your ebook, page 74. Go ahead and use the QEC software, and you can choose one of these topics as your topic for your essay. Please write 100 words for this essay. 100 words for this essay. Look at some of those topics you can choose. Democracy versus dictatorship inventions versus discoveries, past and future, physical beauty compared to inner beauty. Some of these things would be easy for you. Some of them could be a little bit interesting. Some of them are personal and some of them are impersonal, not personal. So go ahead and give it a try. Choose one of those 100 words. Good luck.